guys, it's Lori. So we are at, I think, like June 28th, and I wanted to talk to you about July. We've got a new moon coming. I think it's on the 1st or the 2nd, somewhere around there. We've got, um, of course, the July 4th holiday is coming. The beginning of July is usually a very busy time, but we've also energetically got a major shift in the cosmos coming, I'll call it. And you may find, and you're probably already feeling it now. If you're a spiritual person, you're probably feeling it now. I mean, depending on what belief system you come from, you can attribute it to whatever. I just feel the energy, you know. I believe with all my heart that God trumps all. It doesn't matter if it's a full moon, new moon, whatever, waning, waxing, whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if, you know, Mercury's retrograde or whatever. But those things do seem to have an effect on us. I mean, think about it. The moon, you know, controls the ocean, right? Or at least that's what they say. God only knows now. We've been lied to so much about so many things. I don't trust anybody but God, right? So... That being said, I just want to tell you what I got. I, I sat down and I was like, okay, God, tell me about July. Because I do monthly um, forecasts for people and I do it individually. It's personalized to them. It takes a lot of work to do it. Um, but I, I came up with these monthly memberships because I'm trying to get something regularly coming in because this work wipes you right out. If you're gifted at all, you know that. I mean, there are so many people that do this kind of work and end up, you know, completely either, you know, bedridden or whatever. Um, I'm not to that point, but I do know it wipes me out. And I do know I need a life and I do know I need to give energy to my children, grandchildren, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you know, myself, maybe some, me. I still want to go to that cabin. I will go to that cabin. Anyhow, so July. And this is like in general. I do do the personalized forecasts. If you'd like to get inf more information about the monthly subscriptions, please let me know. Just message me under here, comment, email me, L-O-R-I-R-248 at gmail.com. If you don't hear from me there, comment here because sometimes that email gets so bogged down. But anyhow, um, July in general doesn't matter what sign you are, doesn't matter who you are, if you're energy sensitive, you're going to feel it, okay, things may be, it seems like July, uh, June was kind of push and pull, you know, good things happened, and then maybe, like, the energy just kind of waxed and waned, shifted um, more than normal, it kind of seemed to be, like, on a real roller coaster, but almost like a predictable roller coaster, it was like, okay, things are going good, then they're going to do, you know, July's going to be a little bit different. July is actually going to pick up a really good, the, the um, frequencies are going to go higher and later, but not in the beginning. Right at July 4th holiday, if you're in the United States, that's, it's a busy, busy time. Um, so be extra careful. People may be more irritated. Um, People are going to, and, and you know, if you're energy sensitive, you're going to feel this for sure. You might feel more frustrated. You may feel weepy or sad. Um, people that are not the nicest people are not going to be able to hide it as much. Even people that are, you know, on their spiritual journey and doing the best they can to stay at a higher frequency are going to have a hard time because there's like a frustration. Um, there's a heaviness in the energy. There may be a feeling of hopelessness, like... How come I can't get out of this? There may be, like, things are going well, and then, boom, all this stuff just seems to fall apart. The best thing that you can do at this time, really, is be extra diligent about your gratitude and forgiveness and raising your frequencies because it's going to take work. And you know, some days, sometimes it's like, okay, this is good. It's just flowing. Everything's good. Well, we're coming into an energy... And it's right at the new moon where it's going to be real heavy. Who knows what's going to happen? I mean, some people may face some real, real negative stuff. And then other people, it's kind of just seeing who people are, that kind of stuff. It's almost like, um, like June was, like good and then bad and good and bad. And it's unexpected. It's like when things are going good, there's like a lull. So 
and I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy here. I'm just telling you what the energies are. And I think once we get past like the first week of July, things are going to lift. You're going to actually feel it. You'll probably feel it physically, emotionally, mentally. Things are going to lift. Be extra careful of miscommunications now, okay, between now and maybe say the 10th of July, and I'm just throwing that number out there, like mid-July, there's an absolute chance of miscommunications, um, so make sure you're clear, don't jump to conclusions about what somebody meant, because it's a really bad time for that, um, be careful of accidents on the road, be extra careful, um, family strife, don't buy into it now, because it'll turn into explosive. Um, as far as money and stuff like that, just let it flow. Don't worry so much because the worry is going to, it's like whatever you put out there now, as far as the negative, is going to expand and like the universe is going to take it and go with it. So do your absolute best. You should do that anyway every day to not be negative, but especially now for these energies. But rest assured, after the first week of July, things are going to lift up. We're going to have a great month. Things are going to get going. Take it easy. Step back. You know what? Do what you can. Do what you can to just stay in gratitude, faith, forgiveness, and belief. Okay? You can still manifest during this time. It's just that the energies are heavy, and it almost feels like you're trudging through like quicksand. Okay? Um, if you're one of the people unaffected by this, Praise God. <laughs> um, and just help your fellow man, okay? Let's use some compassion. You know, I just want to add one thing. I scroll through social media, and I'm a comment person. I always look at comments. People are so judgmental. And you know what? You know what I think? It breaks my heart to see that. Because what I think is, there but for the grace of God, go I. I'm so grateful for God. I'm so grateful for my family. And I'm grateful for you guys. So um, you can get through this, all right? Just, just, and you know what? Maybe nothing will happen. Maybe nothing will happen. Maybe you won't be affected. I don't know. But just kind of be cautious of that, all right? First week of July, after that, we're good. Frequencies rise. Things kind of, and I really think the rest of July will play out really well. Yeah, things will flow. Things will, things will go really well. Okay, I will talk to you guys soon. I'll be posting again very soon. I have my grandson this weekend, so can't wait. I love that little man. All right, I will talk to you guys soon, and I hope you have a great day.